Hey, what's going on, everyone? Free Darkness here, bringing you a 38 and 2 Wii Remote Chopper Gunner gameplay. I hope you guys like it. It's a bit slow at some points in the game, but it's genuinely alright. So, with that stated, I want to go ahead and share my thoughts and opinions on the new Ghost Onslaught DLC. Of course, it just released, I believe, two days ago at this point, and it only released on the Xbox One and Xbox because, of course, the contract that Activision has with uh, Microsoft. And eventually, about one month later, it'll be released on all other platforms, excluding the Wii U, of course. Um, meaning it's going to be on the PS4, PS3, and PC, but not on the Wii U. The reason for that has never been announced or discussed because the customers don't need to know. But uh, with that stated, I mean, this DLC looks pretty neat, I think. There's definitely many aspects to it that make it look interesting. And, and something I've been finding that I like about this game... I mean, I personally hate field orders because, I mean, I gained one right now, and I, and I gained some, but I feel like they're cheap. All you have to do is, sh they're so easy to acquire, really, and you can get some really pretty kick-ass killstreaks, and I just think that's a little, uh, I mean, come on, you should really have to earn it more than just, I mean, I guess you kind of do earn it by completing what it tells you to, but, I mean, come on. I feel it's a little bit cheap, but... You know, in some of these maps, uh, they are effective and cool. For example, I mean, you can be Michael Myers in the fog map. That is just so cool. I mean, how cool is that? You can be Michael Myers, and suddenly the music changes to that awesome music you'd hear from a Michael Myers movie. I'm not going to redo it with my sounds of my mouth because I'm not a piano. But John Carpenter, man, that, that's a good song for, for John Carpenter using, I believe he only used two keys. <laughs> Anyways, though, I'm getting sidetracked here. I genuinely like this map, and I think it's really interesting. And what occurred to me is, you know what? Michael Myers, he should be in, the for in a flippin' forest or... The woods, you know, with cabins, because I mean, there's no other iconic killer that I can think of that likes to kill people, mostly teenagers, I would assume, in the woods in cabins. No Jason Voorhees or any hockey mask wearing murderers, nope, just Michael Myers. But that is interesting. I don't know why they didn't use Jason Voorhees. I mean, he that looks more like a stick, but no, they use. Michael Myers. No, I'm not hating on Michael Myers. I personally, well, to be honest, my personal favorite serial killer, you know, because if I had to pick a favorite, would be, you know, Jason Voorhees, because he's badass. He can teleport. Then again, so can Michael Myers to a degree. And I like Michael Myers too. I love Michael Myers. He's definitely just a badass motherfucker. And, you know, the fact that if you complete the field orders, you become him, you basically get some of the characteristics of a maniac kill streak would give you meaning you go you can go fast you can stab people although i mean in, in reality i mean in in reality at this point when you get the field orders everyone's weapon should disappear and you should literally be as slow as a juggernaut because i mean michael myers doesn't run after people he just walks it's shanks so <laughs> juggernaut with a knife Everyone has no weapons, but then again, that would be very difficult for for him to catch up. So I I, I can see the reasoning there, <laughs> but you know, or <laughs> make a mechanic where the enemies uh, or any survivor who's not Michael Myers would trip every thirty sec every two seconds after starting to sprint. <laughs> that would be hilarious, and they can't get up for like ten seconds. I mean, that, that's that's exactly how the, every movie would go with Michael Myers. Uh, but I think, yeah, I really like this aspect. I mean, of course, Michael Myers has always been a mode in the past Call of Duties. Well, not really a real mode, but more of a community mode, such as Infection. I mean, Infection used to be something people used to play around with. And eventually, it got added as one of the community playlist actual mode modes in the Modern Warfare 3 game. And, you know, it, stick, it stuck around to Ghosts. And now they have this they should definitely make 
not just have it be field orders, but make it an actual mode where you can you play as Michael Myers, you know? Everyone cannot wield a weapon, and you can, and basically the last guy alive can, in fact, wield a weapon to kill Michael Myers. That'd be fun. I would love that. I've always been a fan of Michael Myers. I mean, when it comes to infection, or Michael Myers, I always go in Michael Myers. I always love being Michael Myers, too, because you run around and stab people. It's, it's so fun. And, uh, you know, I would love to see Infinity War create that as a mode. The rules are there. It's easy to set up. I'm sure they could do it. If they can do Infection, I'm sure they could do Michael Myers. Especially now that they have the rights to it, and they actually have the getup, the mask, and everything. I mean, why not do it? You, you surely can. I won't call you Shirley anymore if you do. <sighs> With that stated, I, I like fog. It looks cool. It, you know, it's got tall grass, ooh, spooky cabins, and that fog, man. You can't see shit. It's just spooky. It looks cool. It looks really riveting, you know? Of course, there's Bayview, which is an interesting map, you know? Uh, personally, looks looks all right. Particularly plays a uh, little campy, but... You know the trolley. That is, that is fun. You know you could put, you could prop a minigun in there. You could prop anything really. You could prop a minigun. Uh, keep yourself <laughs> surrounded with explosives and just wait for someone to approach you and blow it the hell up. You know it's, it's just it's fun. You could put bombs on it and just wait for it to travel down the trolley. Someone hops in, boom, you can kill them. It's uh it's fun to mess around with that aspect. You know, it's a really interesting map. Of course, uh. There's two weapons. Uh, now, I believe they're a little bit OP, but, you know, that's just me. You know, and, and they're two weapons, but technically they're, they're the same weapon, except, you know, one has a mod to make it into a sniper. Rifle. And uh, that's pretty cool, I think. You know, it's unfortunate that, that we don't get it, especially since, you know, us players on Wii U could totally get a free gun, right? Free. Not everyone would have to buy it, but I mean, okay, fine. Make it paid. I'm, I'm sure it'll work. It worked in Black Ops too, right? I could see people's guns camouflages that I didn't personally own. So why can't they do that with the, uh, with the guns? So it's not, it's not like it's actual DLC in map packs where, like, you know, of course they're not gonna release DLC on the Wii U because there's not enough people playing it. So it'll split people up between those who own it and those who don't. But when it comes to guns, DLC, uh, camouflages. That, that works. It won't split anyone up because those who don't have it can see it and those who do have it can use it. So I don't see why they don't release that. It's a simple retexture after all, but we'll, we'll see if they ever get to actually doing that. Containment looks pretty interesting because, of course, uh, there's the EMP effect, radiation effects that you remember from Modern Warfare 2, uh, which were always kind of fun to deal with. And it's, it's, just, it's really favela-ish, and I love just how Favela looked and how Favela was set up, it was just a phenomenal in my opinion. And finally, there's the last map in this, Ignition, which is a recreation of a previous map, somewhat small map, either it's a rocket that goes off and kills people, was not to love. Otherwise, the DLC looks pretty somewhat solid, and you know, Extinction looks pretty interesting too, it looks like they're taking some notes from zombies, trying to create some lore, and the snow and the custom weapons now that are built with alien tech look awesome so anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys think about the dlc in the comments below thank you guys for watching